Hello everybody and welcome to Electroshock Gaming. My name is Zoom HD or Cowan and today we're playing some Minecraft. Um yeah, I don't I've not been doing much recently, but uh I've had all sorts of crap on, but I'm back, hopefully for, for longer this time. Uh yeah. So for Minecraft this is a brand new world and I will just show you we are running shaders mod as you can see we're using uh, Sonic Ethers unbelievable shaders version 10.1 which is the same one uh, that I used in version oh what, what version uh, episode 3 of my Minecraft series so this is a series 2 uh, and also for uh, texture packs I'm using faithfuls 32 pack and uh, default 3d models so basically, the, um, you'll see as I go, there'll be lots of little different changes to make the textures look 3D. 3D. So yeah, um, alright, so I suppose we should start off by punching some wood. And we've got quite a nice, uh, quite a nice biome. I, can't, I don't know what it's called, I haven't really kept up with Minecraft recently. Uh, I've just been caught up in playing Arma 2 and DayZ and Call of Duty a bit. Not all that much, but a bit, you know. Uh, so, excuse me, and if I don't know everything that's new, but I know that there's some crazy underground water boss thing. But yeah, that's about it. Anyway, uh, so we're just gonna create a crafting bench, and I don't know if you've noticed, but here it is, and you can just have a look at this. Uh, these these little textures that pop off, you know. It I think it just looks really nice. Uh, the sun is going down. Uh, this is because I started it a bit late. Hold on. There we go. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, now should have plenty of daylight. So, uh, oh. Ugh, I'm messing up because I haven't played in so long. Right, and you can see uh, this is a different model, which is quite cool. You'll see it on the ground as well. Uh, I don't know, I think this is changed by the 3D textures and not the, the texture pack, which is kind of cool. So, uh, where, where, where should we dig into? Oh god, this is dark. Yeah, I'm now playing on um quite. I usually play on really, really bright settings, but I decided to go with moody because if you turn it all the way up to bright, the sun looks ridiculously bright. It's like ran. It is yeah, just blinding. But oh, I just love this. I love this. Uh, so we got some mossy cobble here. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's rare anymore. I think you can just combine it with, with combine cobble with vines to get this. Yeah. So it's not that special, which is a shame because it it was always something you could trade on multiplayer servers. People wanted it. So yeah. Um, we're gonna just mine down a bit and again excuse me because I haven't been playing Minecraft all that much uh, so yeah I'm also oh coal that's that's really good actually uh, also thinking of actually getting around to doing a DayZ series I'm not just saying that this time but the problem with DayZ is that I don't really have any friends like to play D Daisy anymore. I've got Grant, but he's often busy recording Farming Simulator or work or, you know, he doesn't have much time. Uh, so, and I'm not even sure if he really wants to play Daisy anymore. Uh, so, I hope you can see this because it's not terribly bright. Right. And, ta da! And look, the, oh, the torch looks so cool as well. It's actually attached to something. 
rather than just being sort of lent on the wall. And also, uh, if I just break this, hold it in my hand, it lights up dynamically, which is really cool. So, uh, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I really like it because it just sort of, it keeps to the, the vanilla sort of feel, but it just adds a bit more depth to it. That's why I really like the um, the faithful texture pack, because it, it changes it, but not drastically. So, not so drastically that you're like, oh my god, what is this, and what is that? And, you know, it's just, you know, it just is Minecraft. So, uh, let's see, what, well, uh, where am I? Why I changed all this. I'm at Y63. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna go make a better pickaxe. Where did it? Oh, there's my crafting bench. I'm a terrible one for just making a million crafting benches. Uh, so we'll make some sticks and we'll make a stone pickaxe. Oh, and achievements. <laughs> I always forgot about those achievements. Oh, this is something that's really cool. It's like a, a mallet, and it is just the same, it's the same as a normal stone sword. It's just the, the model has changed now. I think it's pretty cool. So I don't think you'd be able to make a proper blade out of stone, but you might be able to attach a, a big rock to it. So I think that looks cool. Really gotta keep on top of torches and but look at that. Not light, it just oh. oops <laughs> He says breaking it. <laughs> okay, I did it twice. Right. And just keep on mining. So yeah, back to it, Daisy. It will happen. I just need to get round to doing it. And but, uh, yeah. I mean Daisy solo is really hard. Well, it's not just hard, but it's just, it's kind of boring. So, well, I, I really wanted to find someone to play with. And someone's really into Daisy as well, but I don't know. Uh, yeah. I forgot to make a shovel. Uh, da -da. And also, I know I know I said I would play a farming simulator at some point. That's probably not going to happen, just because I tried playing it, and honestly, it's not my game. So, sorry if you if you were waiting for it. I don't think anyone was, to be honest. But if you were, I'm sorry because I just uh, it's not my game. I like sort of adventure games. I like first person e games and to be honest farming simulator is just not my game <sighs> looks so cool oh I'm gonna start running out of food soon but there's mushrooms and I make mushroom stew Oh yeah, I forgot they added rabbits. You can get, what is it, uh, you can get these like rabbit hides or whatever, and you can craft them into a, a 4x, I think with a 4x4 and then it'll make it into normal leather, which is kind of cool. But, and you can also get rabbit meat, which I don't think is terribly good. I, I remember using it when it first came out and it wasn't terribly good. I have played some of this this version, just not an awful lot. So yeah, um, 
And I'm sorry if the, the, the frame has dropped down a wee bit. It's just this shader is really intense, but oh, I, I really love it. I'm sorry. Ooh, iron. I'm getting a, a fairly decent constant. I'm just this is constantly above thirty-ish, so I shouldn't drop below cinematic frames. <laughs> which uh, is uh, torches, which is uh, twenty-four, I think. Twenty-five frames a second, yeah. Twenty-four, I think. And I have no idea how long I've been recording for because, as usual, I forget to set a timer. So, I don't know, this could be half an hour long, this episode. Or it could be ten minutes, who knows. <laughs> it will be as long as it is. Ooh. There's a, there's this glitch lighting a bit. Ah! That's what I wanted, was one of those big ones. And I'm gonna get lost here, but I don't, I don't care. We're on a quest for mushroom stew. So, I just. I think punching it is literally the fastest way. I don't know why. Whenever I'm punching something, I want an open hand. Alright. Alright, these leaves. This is sorry because it's slightly faster. And doesn't take down half the durability. Or not twice as much durability. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was considering. Oh, I can eat that much. I was considering actually starting up a like a feed the beast series again, but uh, I actually did start one, but the the audio got corrupted or something when uploaded, and it it cut out, and I couldn't be bothered re-uploading it because. Literally, if I want to re-upload something, it takes about 11 hours, so one upload, <laughs> and if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, and I just take it down, but, um, well, unless it's, unless I've actually, it was the first episode, so it didn't really matter too much, but if it's a proper series, I will re-upload it, but, uh, yeah, so, I did, ooh, I, I like that, actually, the colors sort of wash out as it gets darker. That's cool. But yeah, um... No, anyway, my, the reason I, I didn't actually start a new series was just... Because I... I can't be bothered getting into the whole mod thing again. It was just too... Too in-depth. And plus, I'm just feeling a bit of vanilla Minecraft. What's funny is I've never actually done a proper uh, full survival series, like uh, not our survival series, but hardcore, like survival. Which I think would be kind of interesting. I might do it as like a, a challenge, just record it all in one sitting, and when I die, I die, and that's that's where I upload it. Which would be kind of cool. Yep, dead end. I really like this, just being able to hold a torch in your hand. Although I don't, I think it's purely com cosmetic, so it won't stop mobs spawning around you. So, it does, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because they don't spawn within a certain radius of you anyway, so. I'm just saying random crap. <laughs> There's the iron I missed. Is that spider iron? Uh, right. 
Now, apart from not recording, <laughs> uh, basically all I've been doing is school and well, other things, personal things, but uh, and watching live streams. And I don't know if any of you have heard of people like Sada Plays or Frankie on PC, but I've uh, been watching things like that. I was watching. Sa oh god, creepy noise. Um, I was watching Sada Plays, and I was actually quite. Uh, he, what's the word I'm looking for? Amazed to find out that he was. That he actually started recording Minecraft, which I never took him as a sort of Minecraft person, because he does a sort of YOLO bandit Daisy thing. <laughs> Which I think is brilliant. I play as a hero in Daisy, but bandits are cool too. I do play as a bandit from time to time, but usually it's a hero. So, uh, yeah. I got Red Orchestra 2 the couple of days ago and was pleasantly surprised to find out that it's got a really good multiplayer and I know I just love playing as a sniper on that the game is really good for sniping on like it's got full zeroing system and you got like uh, zoom uh, you can zoom your breath and cover system so when you press, when you press control I think it is you when you're near a wall you can sort of take cover behind it and pop up and oh, it's just really cool and basically the whole when you're zooming and zeroing with uh, guns and that that's it's basically the same way that at least Arma 2 works uh, which is really cool so I'm very familiar with the, the sniping system they're two completely different games but the, the sniping feels very similar To make some mushroom stew. I still haven't made those stack. I wish they would stack. Ooh, there we go. And my pickaxe, bro. Actually, I'm not gonna make a new one. Well, I am, but I'm not gonna make one out of that. <laughs> and, uh. Let's see, I'll just. We'll do 16 because we're being efficient. And if you'll notice, if I can remember the crouch button. Uh, you can actually see there's a little the fuel in there, and if the shaders look well cool. Oh, I mean, unfortunately, you can't see what's being cooked in there, but still, it looks. I think it looks really smart. Uh, I'll make, I'll make a pickaxe. I should stop doing that because it's annoying me. I just, sorry if it's a bit awkward, but I haven't ever, I haven't uh, recorded in ages, so I'm a bit rusty. But hopefully. Fingers crossed, I won't have any interruptions and I should have lots and lots more to record and lots more to put out. Uh, so, yeah. I'm just gonna need. There's gonna be a wee, be a wee period on my channel where uh, I'm just gonna be a bit awkward again, like my early videos. And oh my god, I forgot to even mention this. I hit 300 subscribers on my channel, which I think is pretty freaking awesome. I'm not going to do a 300 sub video just because I don't feel I need to really. I don't know. It's not 
it's a huge, like a huge milestone for me because it's the most subscribers I've ever had, but it's not the most impressive. So I, I'm, I think my next big milestone be 500, I think. Oh, that was a bug. Yeah, straight a bug. And, oh, I love this. Look at the flipping mace. This thing looks ridiculous. What are we at? Uh, I'm still trying to get my head around this. We're at 60. Okay. We're. Is that this way we are? Yeah. And. I might as well chuck in the rest of this. We'll make ourselves a chest plate. This is the one thing that I wish they had changed as well. But they haven't changed the armor. So. The chain armor would be really cool. But no, this isn't changed at all. It's just. Well, it's changed by the, the faithful texture pack, but not the 3D textures. Uh. I just. Mind this. I think once those are uh, once those are finished cooking, and we made ourselves the armor we want to make, I'll end the video there. I think it's a good place to to end it. Yeah. <gasps> it's morning, I think. Yeah, it's very early morning. All right. Oh God, I've lost my. I've lost my furnace. Where did I go? It was this way, wasn't it? Yes. Look at that. Already losing my way. So, boots. And hat. Oh. Can I make. Hold on. Don't want to waste a bit of coal. We'll make ourselves some pants, leggings, whatever. I'm part American, you know, deal with it. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so I think we'll just ride outside where it's light and I'll end it there. You get above the trees. Ooh. Creeper. We got our first creeper kill of the series. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, I know you damn well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. First kill of the series. Ooh. I love this game. Especially with the shaders. I missed it. I missed playing this. I just got really burnt out on it. Like, I've been playing since, like, the first beta build uh, a long time ago. So, it, yeah, I got very burnt out on it. But, anyway, <laughs> I look mental with this. Ooh, that's not good. Ow! God damn it, I just wanted a, a thumbnail picture. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna end it here. <sighs> Before I kill myself. <laughs> right, I'll see you in the next episode.